on a lovely, beautiful Arizona Sunday morning here. We're waiting on rain, so the clouds come and go, and so does the sun. I have pulled eight cards for a little reading. I don't like doing a reading today. And I may start this reading as a video to tell you all hi, and then I may switch to audio only and I'll go from there. Then I can concentrate more on what I'm what I'm doing instead of wasting so much time trying to adjust this camera. Um, the cards that we drew were um, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Cups reversed, Two of Pentacles reversed, and the beautiful, lovely Nine of Pentacles. That is the top row. Beneath these cards, there is Death, Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands reversed, Three of Pentacles reversed. Okay, I'll put a photo, include a photo of these cards in the um, video as well. And I, I may just switch you out now and turn on the audio. I've got a wonderful recording device that I just um, downloaded the other day and it is so sharp and clear. The first thing that I noticed with these eight cards is that there are a lot of pentacles here. And in the top row at one end is the eight of pentacles with someone working very diligently with all of their focus on what they're doing, all of their focus on their job, all of their focus on making their money. At the other end of this spectrum on this top row is the nine of pentacles. So it's like getting to a point where you work really hard and you finally get to enjoy enjoy life and enjoy what you've created and what you've made in between these points the ace of cups tells me that there are relationship issues for someone and uh and the two of pentacles reversed also plays into this there's something out of balance um there's um something that's problematic in the emotional arena there's something that, that may be um, frayed a bit that may have some issues as far as relationship goes. And it, and it feels like between two individuals, one is all work and, and one is more focused on the leisurely life. And it seems like there has to be a balance between that, which is telling me that someone out there is a workaholic. And um, as... as, as uh, relevant as that is, as positive as that is to be a hard worker and want to get ahead and want to, you know, to make a decent paycheck, you also have to make sure that you are not neglecting other parts of your life. Um, that is what you are working for, you know, you're working for your relationship, you're working to maintain your home and your family. If those things are crumbling as you are spending all of your time at work, focused on a job, it, it's kind of a moot point. It's an oxymoron. What you're working for won't be there. That's just what I'm hearing, and I'm just going to say it. So that does not mean that, that you do not remain a good employee, that you don't put in your hours, that you don't you know give it your all when you're at work. But then when you're not at work, you have to be able to shift modes. You have to be able to focus on the people present and, and what's going on around you and the things that need attention. So there's like a fine line and, and this whole this whole row of cards is speaking about balance. It's just, uh, it's like all wrapped up in that um, two of pentacles, the juggler reversed. So you don't want to drop the ball. And that's, that's the main point from this top row of cards. You don't want to drop the ball. Second row of cards. And it begins with the ominous death card at one end. And at the other spectrum, there is the Three of Pentacles reversed. Um, uh, so, okay, there's like big transitions coming. That's the death card, scary as it looks. It usually just means big changes, big transitions. And at the other end of this row of cards, it's like all about the workplace. Someone may be moving on, moving up, transitioning careers, uh, changing positions, changing companies, 
finding a new job, uh, changing up a career, what you're doing. In between these cards, the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Wands reversed. The transition and change between employment is tricky, and that's what this row is telling us. It's telling us that you may go through a phase or a stage where things are pretty tight, where it's like a feeling, they always say so cliche with this card, the Five of Pentacles, it's like being left out in the cold. Well, if you're pinching pennies and you're short on your money and it's difficult to pay, pay your bills, that's exactly what it will feel like. There's also the idea that you are waiting for an opportunity to come in. You're waiting for an opportunity to come in, but man, it's going to be a tight squeeze between being employed and having the paycheck, not working and not having the paycheck, waiting for this opportunity that you appear to be waiting on, and then coming out at the other end of this row of cards with a job. The idea that the Three of Pentacles is reversed is telling me that, careful, be careful, because the job that you come out with through all of this transitions may not be what you thought it was. Maybe it doesn't pay what you thought it did. Maybe there's some other very personal reason specific to you why you won't be as happy here or you won't like it at first. That doesn't mean it's not good. That doesn't mean to abandon it or to jump ship. It means that for some of you, there's going to be a transition period and not everything is as you expected it to be, you know? I'm going to draw one more card here to kind of finish this up and give us uh, our final perspective. Oh, that card is Temperance. Temperance tells us again to find balance find balance in all things just as the two of pentacles is a balance card in my reading so the temperance is too uh, it's the angel on on the traditional card pouring water from one cup into another give some here give some back it's a give and take kind of thing so don't be discouraged when these big transitions come if you lose your whether whether you lose your job or you decide to change careers or jobs um, there's going to be a really pinchy tight transition and there's going to have to be some give and take here in a lot of areas um, within a lot of um, relationships around you for your time for your attention settling in a process of getting used to what you're doing uh, until it feels natural and routine. So it's all about balance, and that's what the cards are telling us today. Thank you. That is all that we're going to have for today for this tarot podcast, and until next time, bye-bye.